There we go. Hello, hello everybody. How's it going? I'm Paul I'm with the da uh, Dicey Review. I'm here as always with my brother David. David, how you doing? Hello. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing really well uh, because we're here to play 51st State and Heck yeah, that's always a good time. Uh, it's been a good time for the past four streams in a row. That's right. And if you guys want to see something else, um, just hop onto Twitter and follow the Dicey Review. And whenever he does uh, streams, vote for different games or we'll keep playing 51st State either way. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> or if you follow if you follow Chevik over there, if you follow the Portal official Twitter, he retweets it. So uh, you can just vote on that if you want to. Either way, we we try and get it out there. Um, but yeah, these past there's only four choices typically on the poll because uh, that's how many choices I can usually make. Um, and it is Imperial Settlers, Rise of the Empire, or sorry, Empires of the North, Rise of the Empire, Alien Artifacts, and Fifty First State. And Fifty First State has won. And it was narrow this week, but it won again. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, really? What was the what was the runner up? Empires of the North. It was thirty. I think it was like thirty one percent to twenty seven percent. Fifty first state. Oh, that's close. That's close. Yeah. So we only need a few more people to follow. Uh, you know, follow Ignazi or um, the Dicey Review on Twitter. Vote your votes, and you know, we we'll, we could play something else if you want to, or we can keep. I, I don't mind playing this game. This game is. I know. Cool. I'm having I don't a good mind time. playing any of those games. I'm having a good time. So they're they're good games. Also, uh, welcome to everybody who's here. We are so glad to see everyone. Uh, if you are watching us from Twitch or Twitter or YouTube or Facebook or any of those things, uh, don't forget to like and retweet and share and all of those uh, types of good good things so that we can um, hang out with more people. Other than that, we are uh, pretty much ready to jump in. We're going to be playing this week. I'm playing Mississippi. And then, David, you are playing who? Who are you playing again? The Merchant's Guild. Merchant's Guild. So he's going to make yes. some deals. And I'm going to make some, some deals. stuff that Mississippi makes. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> hello, Ruby. We're so glad that you're here. Uh, hello, Bill. Thanks for hanging out. If y'all have any questions, leave them in the chat uh, and we will try and answer those as we go along. We are gonna talk a little bit about the game uh, since we have some people who don't know a ton about 51st State yeah, as we go. But other than that, we're pretty much ready to head that way. Um, so we will head over to the table right after this. So here we are, rip roaring and ready to go. <laughs> um, if you are not super familiar with this game, if you have played Imperial Settlers, there are a lot of similarities. We are doing uh, some similar things. We're trying to build up uh, a faction, essentially. Um, and we are doing that by playing cards out to these different locations. And we're going to have to pay resources to play those cards. So that's kind of the meat of the game is playing out different cards, getting bonuses and things from those cards, and then using those resources to buy more and more cards and kind of develop combos as we go. Um, so that being said, we have done the setup already, which um, is getting all this stuff set up and then drawing cards. So at the start of the game, you will draw six cards. And out of those six, you get to keep four. We've already done that. Um, I have kept these cards, if you can see those. Um, and I kind of have a direction, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be something I can that'll pan out for me. Yeah, I don't know if mine will either. We'll see. Um, oh, I just noticed the deal on that. That's really good. Mm. And, it, and I'm good at making deals. Yeah. That's true. Do it is Prime Day. You're going to see it some is. good deals. <laughs> <laughs> you know? At the first I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> is this an Amazon commercial all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> We're sponsored by no one, so I thought we would go ahead and promote Amazon. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. Yeah, if you want to reach out for it with a sponsorship offer, Amazon, uh, feel free. We're yeah. we're open to we'll it. We'll see what we got so. on our calendar. Uh, see. We're yeah, busy. I mean, I don't know if we have 
Yeah. It's like a but, point. You know, we'll see. Uh, you know, with like <laughs> bigger companies than Amazon, like Google and stuff, they're going to sponsor us. But other than that, we're pretty much free. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty much open. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever. So. All right. We are ready to um, move into the lookout phase. We're going to get ready to draw some cards. Ruby, I did win last time. David won the time before that. And then I don't remember who won the time before that. But we are you did. we are tied. We're neck and neck <laughs> in the last two games. In the last two games. That's correct. And David <laughs> And that's all that matters. David, David, you went first last time. So I'm gonna go first this yeah, game. I did. Yes. So I will draw three cards for the lookout okay. phase. So the way the way the lookout phase is supposed to work, um, if you're not familiar with the game, is you're supposed to draw one more card than the number of players and then draft. Basically, one person picks a card, the person in clockwise order picks a card. David and I are playing virtually because of um, COVID and quarantine and things. Um, so we're doing kind of a modified version of that. I'm drawing three cards and he's drawing two cards and we're both just picking one. And then on the flip side of that, I'll draw two and he'll draw three because you do a reverse draft um, after you do the, the first draft there. So... That's kind of what we're doing now. And the cards right. that I'm getting, one of them is pretty good, so I'll keep that one. So I kept this one for my first round, and now David gets to draw three and keep one, and I'll draw two. I already did that, so I'm way ahead of oh my you. goodness. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I know what I'm keeping. This is a great card. I love this card. I drew huge machinery. Oh, that's a great card. Love this card. Let's you um, get contact tokens, which is great. Um, Ibisu 13. We are playing with the New Era expansion this time. So that's a good thing to point out. Uh, the first few times you play the game, the it just recommends that you play with base cards. Dave and I have actually played four games now i think this might this might actually be our fifth game um fourth or fifth so yeah, we have one shuffled in one of the expansions we're shuffling in the new era expansion because it kind of goes better with our play style i think uh, based on the cards i've looked at so far and then now we're ready to produce and get to play in so you produce the things that are at the top of your uh, faction board so like at the top of every faction board you'll see there's production right there. So for me, I produce three people, a brick, a contact token, and I draw one more card. In addition, as we start to build out production buildings up top, you'll produce from those things as well and deals that you can make, which David is probably going to do a fair amount of this game. Oh yeah, I'm going to make some <laughs> oh, oh yeah. It's going to be wheeling and dealing. <laughs> oh man, I got so many good deals too, which is great. I mean, I'm loving it. And so this faction actually uh, produces a brick, which is not something that I've done in the past. So I may want to try and focus on upgrading, um, which is something else you can do in this game or developing, I think it's called. Yeah. So, man, I don't know. Whoa, I don't know what I want to do. Um, well, I say that. I think uh, I think I'm ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready, man. I'm I'm like I'm like sandwich meat. I was made ready. <laughs> he was born ready. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to take my first action, and as such, I'm going to spend one contact token to build this card. So there there are costs up in the top left of cards. The distance cost. If you're building a card, you have to spend gray contact tokens. So I'm spending one gray contact token to build this card, and that's an action that you can do. Uh, and this is actually an action card. So action cards go on the bottom row. You have three rows, and then actions go down here. So that's my uh, action, and that's my turn. We we take turns back and forth doing one action at a time, basically. All right, and I am going to go ahead and spend a fuel to get uh, three blue contact tokens. So the that's blue good. contact tokens are the ones you use to make deals. And depending on the cost of the card, that's what you spend to make the deal. And so I did that. Okay. Yeah, that is true. You also have actions that you can take on your faction board that are unique for each faction. So uh, one of the actions that you can do on your, on your faction board is you can turn in two workers to get a, a good 
a resource or draw a card. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn in these two workers and I'm gonna send them out to go scavenge some gears or a gear. I wish they would get me gears, plural. But I can only <laughs> have one gear for now. So that is my action. All right, I'm going to, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to start making some deals. And I've, I've made a mistake as I've kept my cards here. I didn't pay attention to the cost of them because mm. I have some really expensive cards. I didn't consider but that's okay. the cost. I didn't consider the cost. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and make a deal to love. produce guns didn't consider the cost that's right i still have tiny <laughs> hands i'll never let them go <laughs> all right so i'm producing a gun so i'm gonna activate one of my cards so the other thing that you can do is once you play cards down some of them will have actions that you can utilize typically once per round so for me i am going to be uh, activating this huge machinery card it says spend a worker and a gear to gain three gray contact tokens so that card is done now, but I now have three contact tokens that I can use to maybe do something else. Because the thing is, you want to spend as much as you can each round because everything goes away at the end of the round, unless you have a special ability. So you kind of want to burn through as much as you can. Yep, and I am going to... Uh, you know what? I really... Hmm... Man, this is... This is not working out the way I want it to. <laughs> That's my evil laugh of <laughs> glee. This is bad for me. Um... Also, important thing, the game is erased to 25 points. So whoever gets to 25 points triggers the end of the game. They don't necessarily win. Correct. Um, let's. Oh man, I'm really in a in a pickle here. You know what? I'm gonna draw a card. No, I don't want to draw a card. Actually, maybe I do want to draw a card. Maybe, maybe. Cards aren't bad. Yeah. I have so many, but I kept so many expensive cards. I didn't even, I didn't even, I was a fool. My hubris, <laughs> my hubris was my Hamarsha. Uh, all right, let's my see here. My wings of wax, they're melting. My wings of wax, melting too close to the sun. Um, I may have, let me see if I have any open production. I don't have, man, I don't have any production cards, so that's bad. Yeah, I, I'm looking at that too, and I'm like, oh, I just don't, I don't have production. Yeah, I don't, don't have, uh, and I don't have any way to get all this stuff out this round. Mm -hmm. um, all right, I'm gonna draw a card and hope for the best. All right, not the best. <laughs> I'm gonna spend one. Oh, this is a bad round for me. <laughs> one of my contact tokens to build the methane storage. So the methane storage is a feature. Features go in the middle row right here. And this one says, this one has a building bonus. So I get it when I build the card, it says take three fuel and put it on this card. And basically this is like three fuel that's like a one-time use for me. So I can use them however I want to, but once they're gone, they're gone. Which isn't bad. Yeah, It's not bad. No, that's pretty good. I'm okay with that. Um... All right, I'm going to, uh, boy, oh boy, this game is not going to go great for me. Oh, man, I made bad choices. I made bad choices. Um, yeah, I was thinking in my mind, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to make these three deals. And then I forgot, I didn't look at the distance cost on these cards. Well, remember, do you have two workers? I did have two workers, yes. You did, okay. I, I spent them. I was about to say, you can also... Uh... There are also these connection cards or contact cards, whatever they're called, that you can get. You can discard two workers to draw these, and these are special cards that you can get once per round to do a cool thing. You know what? That's that's what I should have done. That's actually what I should have done. One of that was a 
That was foolish of me. So one of them is the junk, and these go away each round. So this round we have the junk train, which would give us three blue contact tokens, or the punks, which will give you typically red, red contact tokens. Yep, yep. That is, uh, and by typically he means always, but that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I man, I yeah, I really, I really. Um... I really hose myself this round. I am going to have to pass. I can't do anything else. Oh, no. All right. David's passing. Yeah. I got one deal out. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Right. This is very terrible. David is passing. I'm going to uh, I'm going to spend a fuel to get two blue contact tokens. And then I'm going to... Hmm... raise that's not bad but i guess uh you know what i'm gonna spend those two blue contact tokens to make a deal with this uh scrap trader right here so when you make a deal you turn the card upside down whoop, like that and you get what's showing up up top so i'm gonna get a gear uh and then i'm gonna spend Two more contact tokens to build this church, and it has a building bonus that just says two points. And then I don't really think there's a brick, but I don't know. Can't really do anything. This is not super efficient either. I don't have the, I've already spent, I don't have the gears to get what I need and then I've already spent uh, some of my other stuff. So I think I'm gonna have to pass as well, which is not great. I would have loved to do more, but you don't always- You are far more efficient than me, my friend. You don't always get the breaks, you know? <laughs> All right, so that's the first round. And at the end of the round, we do the cleanup phase, which uh, means we get rid of all of our stuff and any any actions that have been activated they get cleared as well the one exception i have this methane storage i don't have to get rid of all of this stuff so i can keep that from round to round and now um we, oh we also reset these connection cards so these go away the new connection cards are thugs on the red side and merchants on the blue side all right. And then now we'll go into the lookout phase again. Oh, man. Yeah, I should have should have really taken that junk train card. That was that was a mistake on my part. That was a mistake. Keep it up. Junk train. So I'm I'm keeping this just in case. So this card will give me some flexibility in the rounds when I can't necessarily upgrade stuff. So I'm keeping that one, just in case. And then uh, I get to do one more card draw. Oh yeah, I should keep my, I should draw my cards. Uh, All yeah. right. That's not bad, yeah, these are, so these aren't great for me, but I think I'll keep this one and potentially raise it because the rewards are pretty good. So uh, you can raise cards from your hand or you can raise your opponent's cards. If you raise cards from your hand or, well, either way, you get what's shown up in the spoils section. So I'm keeping this card. I don't think I'm going to make a ton of deals, but I may just raise this card from my hand to get what's showing in the spoils section because that's pretty good in my opinion. All right, so we are on to production, I believe. Yes, indeed, I am producing. Get a gear for my deal. All right. Three people. Nope, already did that. And a card. Created. Contact token and a brick and a card. Give me something good. Give me something mm, good. This is pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty bad. good. It's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right. I'm gonna have to make so it. I get to go first this time. Yeah. I am going to spend a gray contact token to build an open production that produces bricks. Ooh, nice. Uh, okay. So that is there, and I'll get a brick. 
All right, I'm gonna spend a gear and a worker to get the three gray contact tokens. Let's see what I'm gonna do this round. Hope everybody's doing well this evening or morning, wherever wherever you might be watching. Ignazi does this sometimes, yep. which is fun. People should post in the chat where they're from because I want to see. Absolutely, yeah. We're all, I'm, David and I are coming at you from Texas. Uh, Both in the Dallas area. The Dallas, so. Yeah, the Dallas area of Texas. I'm closer to the Fort Worth side. David's on in like smack dab in, in the middle of Dallas. And then... Um, yeah, where y'all where y'all from? Great. Now everybody's gonna know exactly where I live, Paul. Yeah, all they have to do is drive to the smack dab <laughs> middle of Dallas, and they're gonna find you. No, no doubt, they're gonna find me right there. <laughs> I'm in the I'm in the absolute middle. Where is he? <laughs> He's nowhere <laughs> to be seen. Uh, all right, I'm spending my fuel to gain my three uh, connection blue connection tokens. Oh man. Bill, Northern Minnesota. Northern Minnesota. So Bill is watching from, I'm assuming, like some type of frozen tundra. I'm assuming. Yeah, from an igloo, probably. Yes. Most <laughs> yeah, he's got a powered igloo. <laughs> he's probably that far north. Yeah. That's a good call. <laughs> we know a lot about Minnesota, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I'm going to do some stuff and some things, if that's okay. I'm going to... I'm going to spend... Oh, I need one more contact token. Mm, mm, mm. I could... Okay, I could do this a little bit differently. So I think, I, I think I'll do this a little bit differently and see. Yeah, that'll work out. That will work out. <laughs> oh, we were so off. It's an ice castle. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't know he was. We're, our ignorance was showing. I didn't know he was Elsa Bill Kennedy. Jeez, <laughs> should have known that he could build his own ice castle. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Bill Kennedy of Arendelle. You didn't know that? <laughs> Northern Minnesota, Arendelle, Minnesota. Paul's showing off the fact that he has young daughters. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a five-year-old and a nine-month-old daughter. So I'm going to know Disney references no, no, for yeah, a long just... time. Just snow flurries, rainy day. Oh, possible snow flurries. Okay. All right. No snow yet. All right. All right. All right. I worked with the guy from Minnesota, and the way he talked about it, it was just snow all the time. Just always snow. But I'm spending two. Uh, I'm spending two contact tokens to build radioactive fuel, which sounds really safe. Sounds super safe. Um. All right. I'm gonna make a deal to yeah uh that's you know there we have possible no no snow yet for us either and i mean in the 2000s but we're hoping that you yeah. know like <laughs> by 2030 yeah. we might get some flurries down here we'll see maybe yeah there might be a might be a snow flurry uh actually i'm gonna spend a brick to uh, develop my quarry into a brick supplier oh, which nice. produces bricks for every brick token in my in my uh, state. So I just get that brick back, right? Yeah. Yeah. It and counts I get itself point. and you get a point most importantly. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So I've got two left. I can't, man, I want to do things in a different order. So how am I going to do this? I could make a deal. Ba -ba -do. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So I think what I will do is spend these two contact tokens to build the clay pit, which is an action. All right. I'm going to spend two workers to go ahead and take the merchants. Nice. Merchants are gone. All right, I'm going to activate the clay pit and get a couple of pints. All right, 
I've also got a clay pit, and I should build it, but I can't build it yet. I've got to get more production. Um, yeah, I'm struggling with that right now as well. But I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a different route this time, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my merchant's card to get me two connection token, two blue connection tokens. Okay. Trying to think through how I could do this. Uh... Hmm. It's going to be tough. Okay, so I need. Can't do that. Can't do that. Well, I could. Yeah. Okay. So I am pretty much going to be done for this round. Um. Uh, I want to keep that one. I guess I could do this. So, I am going to spend a worker and a fuel to get two more points. Mm. Paul's being far more efficient than me this time. And I'm I'm probably going to lose, and I'm okay with that, but, but we'll see what happens. It is very early. It is very early, but... But I'm I am not I did not play my first round very well at all, which, you know, it's going to it's going to come back to bite me. All right. I'm going to make a deal with my car garage, uh, which I really wanted to play, but I'm just way better at making deals than getting cards out there. And that gets me a red connection token. OK. All right. I'm going to spend my last fuel off of this methane storage to get two blue contact tokens. All right, and I'm going to make another deal with my training camp to get another red contact token. Okay. Mm. I think I'm going to make a deal with this uh, with this espionage center. I was hoping to raise this espionage center, but. I want to make a deal so that I don't waste tokens. And that'll get me a card, which cards are always good because they don't you don't have to get rid of cards. Oh, and this is a this is a great one. I like this card. So, we're in good shape. Hey Ruben, how's it going? Hey, what's up? I was just talking to Ruben earlier today. Oh, that's awesome. 2 weeks ago they had an 80 degree day in Minnesota and a 25 degree overnight 55 degree swing from from wearing shorts to furnace running and frost everywhere in the morning. Wow, that is rough. Uh how many how many times uh, did you get the tire pressure warning light on your car, Bill? Yeah, that's, that's 100 times that day? Cuz man, the, the the temperature shifts 5 degrees here and mine goes nuts. Yeah, I, that's uh, I have an exclamation <laughs> point every time I turn on my car now. I've got to go to the grocery store and fill up my tires again. Yeah, uh, and we are not on on East time, uh, East Coast. We are on uh, Central Time here, so we start streaming at seven p.m. So seven p.m. our time. So if it's work time yeah. out here, Ruben, where are you located? And Ruby is in West Texas. West Texas, so. that's awesome. I went to school out in West Texas. We went to I went to uh, Hardin Centers University, or Hardin Simmons, <laughs> as some people call it, out in Abilene. <laughs> So I have, we have a lot of friends out in Abilene. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're Pacific time then, right? Or as I like to call it when I was little specific, he's specific time. So he's like specific two time. hours behind us. Bill says their cars are built for winter time. So they don't get those, they don't get those pesky, uh, they don't get those pesky exclamation points every time they turn on their vehicle. Our cars in Texas are weak. No, I drive a Nissan. It's fine. <laughs> He works in two to midnight shift, uh, so most oh, likely it'd be starting no. at uh, start when when he's working. Most likely, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're working two to midnight, we are starting when you're working for sure. Uh, I am making a deal for bullets. Okay. With the uh, with the corner gun shop or the corner shop corner store. I am I am passing. All right. I am going to. Um, and that bullet steel does me nothing, but I'm going to trade in my... Uh, he passed, so I can't raise it. Bullets are Dang great, it. though. Yeah, bullets are great, but but now I... Uh, dang it. Well, that's okay, because I can raise stuff out of my hand. 
Ruby is in Littlefield, Texas. I don't know that I ever, I don't know that I ever uh, visited Littlefield. We visited uh, Stamford and Clyde and all the little <laughs> Dalyon and all the little, a lot of little little, little towns around there. But I, I didn't ever go through Littlefield. Uh, let's see here. Let me spend. And if anybody else would like to hear more geography notes about West Texas, I'm there for you. You know, <laughs> here for you. Got it covered. Uh, I'm going to raise this card out of my hand and I'm going to get a red token, a worker and a card. and a card and let's see what card i got uh oh fantastic i'm so glad that i got this card but i can't build it yet um it, david has so many deals that's going to be bad for me later i could hmm i could do that that doesn't help me a whole lot right now that would help me all right, I'm going to spend my gun to get uh, two red contact tokens. Okay. And then I'm going to raise the post office out of my hand to get two blue contact tokens and a card. And do you, do you have the Mesmerizer's Dwelling? That would be crazy good with your engine that you've got going right now. No, I don't. I really wish I did. I, I don't have anything for deals or for raising, yeah. which if I had... If I had stuff for deals or raising, I'd be doing great right now, but I'm doing terrible. Um, and so I got two blue contact round? tokens. One point. One solitary point. That's total, or how many have you uh, gotten this round? Total. Total of one? One. Okay. I was, this you're round doing a lot. and I total. Like, <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I'm doing nothing to get me points, though, which is which is horrible. Well, you're building up an engine. Uh, well, I'm, yeah, I am building up an engine slowly. Slowly building up an engine. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and make a deal with... Uh, no, I can't make a deal with that. I can't make a deal with that because I need to build that. I just need... Man, I need more gray contact tokens. So to answer your question, Bill, David does work for Portal. Um officially he is a portal employee i am a volunteer so we have a few different people who volunteer to run the portal games us channel under the supervision of ignazi and luke and and uh, david and all the you know the employees that handle help us out with this so eric does neuroshima streaming mondays and tuesdays and then we do every other wednesday we do streams and typically so this is weird we've been streaming a lot of 51st state because people have been voting on it we do a, a twitter poll but before that, we were doing a ton of Empires of the North and like Rise of the Empire and Imperial Settlers. That's kind of what drew us into Portal was that game. But we are playing more of this, and it's awesome. I like this game a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, Ruben, we should do we should play Robinson at some point because that's a great game. I know Ben um, Nicholson. He's one of the other volunteers. He's he plays a lot of Robinson. Him and Don. Uh, play quite a bit in Chevy, but they uh, haven't been able to stream recently. All right. So I just traded um, two workers for a gear and then I spent my gear and my bullets for two gray contact tokens. I'm going to spend my two gray contact tokens to build my clay pit. Um, finally. And I'm going to spend a worker and a clay to gain two points. Oh, two. So, All right. Yeah. So now I'm, finally getting a little bit of points there um and i will lose two contact tokens but i think i'm going to be okay with losing two contact tokens and i got some production go in this round so i think i'll be okay all right you passing i think i'm going to go ahead and pass yeah okay so the new cards the new connection cards are merchants and punks and then we clean up all right, merchants and punks, and then my cleanup is done because done. I was that efficient. I was I was almost efficient that round. Oh, you were doing a close. ton that round. I got a, I got a ton done, which was cool. But um, we'll see what we'll see how it works out. 
Yeah, Ruben, you should definitely you should definitely uh, set something up with Chevy. He likes to uh, he does a great job when he streams as well. Um, and and the Tabletopia implementation of Robinson is is great from what I've seen. It it works really well. Uh, Bill, I have Empires haven't played got it all during Portal Con. I also have Robinson played three times so far. Well, you got the hardest out of the way first. So after yeah. <laughs> after learning Robinson, yeah. Imperial Settlers is going to be like a piece of cake rules wise. Oh man, I could do. Oh goodness. Oh man, I need both of these cards real bad, but I can't keep both of them, so I'm keeping that Come one. On. Yeah, I know. I need I need two of these as well. Oh wait, I was supposed to draw three that time, was or no? You go first two, this time, right? Two this time. Okay. Yeah. So the, okay, so I'll draw three the second time. The problem is, I I could I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to keep another clay pit. The clay pit's fantastic, or if I wanted to keep the whoop, there we go, the brick supplier, which this one's really good too. They're both really good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and house rule and draw both of my cards from this hand, and then not draw <laughs> two new cards. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that's what cool, I would cool, have liked cool, to do cool. the first time as well. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so what I was yeah. telling Eric whenever I was playing uh, Naroshima. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and house rule. I get to play three tiles because I don't want to discard the other ones left over. That's lame. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to house rule it where them. I get to go ahead and play three. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I wanted to house rule it too that time, but uh, unfortunately, nah, nah. There's no house rule in here. Nope. We don't do like Ignazi says and just play the game however we want when we, once we get it. We play it the way the rules are written. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I kept this one this round. Board Game Grand, you're here. I was just Woo-hoo! telling David, I was like, I hope Board Game Grand shows up. I've been checking out some of your videos. They're very entertaining. We do love this game. And also, apparently, Twitter loves this game because it was voted in again this week. It was the winner of our Twitter poll. So we played it again. And I'm having a great time. Heck yeah. Okay. I am now that I'm producing all this stuff. Let me see what all my deals are. <laughs> and I'll make, sure I make sure I don't lose track of these 100 deals I, I have. Made me some deals. You made me some deals, baby. Because it's prime. All right. Prime day, prime <laughs> deals. All right. Bricks. One contact token. And another card. Let's see what I got. Big money. No whammies. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Thanks, either. Board Game Grand. That's Those are kind words. Thank you for joining us again, and thank you for watching the stream. We appreciate it. Also, I love the word muchly, and I will be using that yep. going forward. <laughs> 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 I enjoy this game muchly. I I do enjoy this game muchly. All right, time. I produce gun, two contact tokens, that- bullets, and a people. All right, I've produced my things as well. Oh, uh, okay, so it's me. It's, it's over to me. Um, I am going Big money, no whammies. to <laughs> spend a worker and a gear, and I'm going to get some more contact tokens. First action, done. 51st State did win the poll again, and Matt's here. Hey, what's up, Matt? It's a party now. <laughs> Matt Thomas? Yeah, it won the poll. Our good it won Canadian the poll. buddy? Mm-hmm. Talk about living in an ice castle. That's probably what Matt lives That's in. That's true. Most likely. Speaking of Matt, I did see the geese out in my park today. We discussed seeing some geese down here in Texas. I don't know if they're Canadian or not. I'm going to have to send you a picture later and see what you think. Because I, I did take it. was a whole <laughs> gang of them. You didn't check their uh, passports? No, man. But some of them oh. were like eating, eating poutine. And one of them had a Labatt's. Um, <laughs> one guy had a, had a big... Uh, canucks jersey on so <laughs> so you never know so maybe they might be canadian i don't know i have no maybe idea. they're just fans you That's never the know only canadian stereotypes i know it's hockey and poutine yeah. <laughs> and they were saying sorry all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah they were they, they were like walking amongst each other and they're like oh uh, so, sorry buddy hey oh uh, and they're like being very polite and not knocking into each other it was fantastic Hey, good job, Robert. I'm glad because because you guys are gonna have a good time playing this game. All right, I did a thing and got some contact tokens. Did you go? All right, no, I haven't gone yet. Let me let me get my let me get my act together here. I'm going to produce construction vehicles, which gives me open production of gray contact tokens. So I now have two gray contact tokens, the most I've ever had at one time Ooh. in this entire game. Open production, you say? 
Yes, I have uh, one. Oh, I didn't produce my bricks for my brick supplier. Do it, bro. I get two bricks. All right. Do. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I am going to spend one contact token to build the old cinema for one point. The old cinema. The old cinema. Mm -hmm. uh, play the talkies all right, there. So... <laughs> Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna build um, a tattoo under their left wing if they're Canadian. He says <laughs> only one of them was doing bench presses, so I I think I might have seen a tattoo, but there might have been a tattoo. I'll have to check there. the You're picture sure. again. <laughs> uh, I'm building huge machinery. Um, That's a great one. Yeah, which is an action that lets me get three contact tokens, which is so good. Yeah. I've had that one since round one, and it has helped for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to build the wrecked tank, I think. Yeah, I'm going to build that one uh, for two. Okay. And it gives me a point mm. for all of my Empire State Building tags. Statue of, yeah, Statue like of Liberty. Ten? Every time. Uh, one, two, three. How many points are you at? Ten. That's what I thought. Tad Cummett. Oh, I'm so far behind. i got to catch up. Time to play catch up. That's all right. I got a lot of resources to work with here this time. Uh, I'm going to spend my gun for two contact tokens. Okay. Man. Oh, you know what I can do? I can. I'm going to send one of my people over to you and get a uh, contact token. All right. So you get a worker. So I get a worker. So the open production, the way that works is uh, since it's open production, your opponent can use it. They put a worker on it, and you uh, you get a worker as well from the pool. Um, and so that's how open production works. Um, all right. I'm going to – what features do you have right now? I have methane storage, which is uh, pretty much done. Yep. I've got – Yep. And then a bunch of churches. So the churches, uh, well, I say a bunch. I've got church, rec tank, and old cinema, all three of the Statue of Liberty tags. Two of them have yeah. two-point uh, spoils, so they're pretty good. Mm. Yeah, let me... Um, well, they... I kind of want to... I kind of want to mess up your engine more, but... So the, these that I've played in the features are all kind of one and done, and they've done their thing. One and done. Yeah, they've done their thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, having two points is pretty nice for four contact tokens. But So here's here's the rewards. You get you can get two gas, you can get two points, or a point in a card. Those are the options for four. Mm. For five, you have different options. Yeah, which I don't quite have five. Um might be able to get to five. Let's see here. Can I get to five? No, I can't get to five this time. Nope, not this time. Uh, that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and spend four to get a point and a card. All right. So this actually, e... do I want two points or do I want to? I think I want the, t uh, the point in the card. I think I want a point in the card. All right. So that flips over. I get a point from the deal field. And then David gets a point and gets to draw a card. What are you? I have you at four. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm at four. Okay. That is that is my pathetic score. It's not pathetic. We've got. I just we have the top down <laughs> view right here. I want to make sure it's accurate. Um, okay. So I just got raised, which is not the best. It does give me the ability to upgrade something, uh, which isn't all bad. But what I think I'm gonna what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the i'm going to spend two and build the brick supplier and the brick supplier gives uh, david has that one out too it's a production it gives you a brick for every brick tag you have in your empire so like these little um straight line tags whatever so i have two of those so i'm going to get two bricks and that is my turn all right i am going to spend um a worker and bullets as a gear to get three gray connection tokens nice. finally feel like i'm in the game with connection tokens yeah. okay i am 
going to do some upgrading, I think. Well, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to activate my clay pit. So my clay, my clay pit says spend a worker and a brick to gain two points. So I'm going to do that. All right. I'm going to do the exact same thing to gain two points as well. Okay. Um, okay. And then I'm going to, um, then I'm going to try and upgrade. So, Don't have I do have something that do I have something that has a star? That one's not bad. But let me see here. Okay, so I could do the oh. So I will do All right. I am going to um use one of my bricks and I'm going to upgrade using my ruin here. So when you upgrade, you have to um you have to match the tags in your empire. So for instance, since this card has an arrow and oh, let me show it. Since this card has an arrow and a gun, I can pick any other card in my empire that also has either an arrow or a gun and replace it basically. Or if you have ruins, which you get from being raised, that can be anything. So that's kind of like a wild tag. So I just upgraded that card, which means I'll get rid of it. And then I will um, build the Ganger's Dive. Ganger's Dive, which gives me one point for upgrading. And then this gives me a building bonus of one red contact token. All right. And I'm going to build um, Methane Storage. Uh, so build him a methane storage for one contact token and getting my three fuel here. <clears throat> nice. That's done. Okay. I am going to raise... Dang it. This isn't the best way I could do this, but I don't really know how else to do this. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and raise this Ricky the Merchant from my hand, which will give me a worker and a fuel. Um, I'm raising it by spending one, one red token. All right, and I'm going to build an Oilman Fortress. Ooh. Yeah, Oilman Fortress, which lets me spend a worker and two fuel to gain three points. Nice. Oh, it, you haven't activated it yet? Okay. Not yet. No, just built it. All right, so I'm going to spend one worker and one fuel to gain two points. Activating my... All right. I'm going to spend a worker and two fuel, one from my methane storage, to get three points. One, two, three. All right. So I think the last... What can I do? The last kind of thing I can do is... Uh, well, I can do one more thing. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade my... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Darn it. I don't want to do that. So... Ah, that's not going to work out like I thought it was going to, unless I... Mm. I could get rid of that... My brick store a supplier rather but I don't like the idea of doing that ah these are tough decisions it's not, it's not quite decisions. what I wanted to do um, but to be able to do what I want to do I think I will upgrade my um, brick supplier into a an arena. So, so I'm going to mm. spend my brick, spend a brick, blah, spend a brick and build the arena. So the arena gives me a a gun for each gun tag in my empire, which I currently have two, and it'll give me one point. All right, I'm going to upgrade my brick supplier as well into an expedition camp, uh, which gets me a bullet and a gun and a point. Bullets are nice. Bullets are wild. 
Yeah, bullets are wild uh, resources, which is really nice. I have you at 10, is that correct? That is okay. correct. So, Seven sorry, I got two... Behind, but that's okay, I have a plan. I got two guns for building this arena. I forgot to grab those. So I'm going to spend those two guns to get a red raise token and one ruin, which is the action that I have on my card. So I get one red token... And I get one ruin. When you get a ruin, you just draw a um, card and put it face down in your empire. So it's it's a wild card that can be upgraded, basically. Mm, that's a good card. Yeah, it's, it's one of the actions on the uh, Mississippi faction board. Oh, nice. One on your cheater faction board. Got it. It's a it. promo cool. faction board. Cool. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to spend... Um... Two workers to get a card. All right. I think I'm going to pass cool. and just store this. Um, so this Ganger's Dive, it says you can store up to three of your raise tokens, basically, um, during the cleanup phase. So I'm storing one of my tokens there and I'm passing. Yeah, I'm going to lose stuff, but I think I'm going to have to pass. I, I, I've once again went hog wild on production and produced too many things. Mm. Um, all right. So I am passing as well. I think I'm really going to regret getting rid of that brick maker. Oh, well. Uh, okay. So, well, with your action, you might, yeah, with you, being able to get ruins like yeah, that. I mean, yeah. I just, I, getting another brick more bricks is is nice uh, i wish i had both because the yeah. bricks with the ruins is a great combo but all right yeah. so the new connection cards are thugs and junk train and then right. uh clean up so we get rid of all of this stuff bye bye see you later and then you are first player this round so okay. in the lookout phase you draw three first all right, two. two, three. Oh. What am I keeping Fantastic. here? I got really Ooh. lucky. So I drew this. Oh, I'm I'm looking at the uh, my Skype window like it's going to show up there. Yes board game grand there are multiples of each card so the only other thing to remember is that my brother and i are playing virtually right now so we are using two decks of cards that are the same decks shuffled together so it's not the balance is slightly off as what it would be if we were sitting at the same table but this is kind of a workaround that we've uh developed to play remotely so Please don't sit on my keyboard, cat. I just saw, I saw your cat's tail like fluff by for a second. And it looked like like a weird sun sun ray in the corner for like a brief moment. Yeah, he's uh, he's about to sit on my keyboard, which uh, I'm not sure I want I want to happen. But I mean, I'm definitely sure I don't want that to happen. Okay, so I think I'm gonna uh, keep this one and see if I can. I'm trying to decide what to keep here. Go for it this last round. See if I can just go for it. Just go for it. Yeah, we've house ruled it a bit, but it's working out well. We we we're doing a modified just a tiny bit, yeah. Lookout phase, and then we're doing modifying the the drawing of cards. So. Uh, all right, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this radioactive calling. That's a really good card. It's a kind of a one shot deal, but it's good. Sweet. Uh, and then my. Last card that I keep. Um... Oh man, this is great. I'm producing. This is great for me. For at some point, we'll see here. All right, I'm gonna produce. Oh man. Jeez. Okay. Got some good stuff. This, this is gonna be good. 
All right, you get to go first. All right, let me finish my production here. And a card. Spin one to gain one, maybe activate it twice. That's pretty good, but I got a plan for those guns. Um, all right, and I produce a worker. Bullets. Two of these guys. A gun. A gun, bullets, and a gray connection token. All right, first thing I would like to do is uh, spend um, a worker and bullets as a gear to get three gray connection tokens. I'm doing much the same. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I want to spend... Um, I want to build a gun shop. Uh-oh. Gray connection tokens. Build my gun shop. Okay. Which lets me spend a worker and um, guns to get points. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend one to build Sharash, which gives me mm. gives me two multicolored production tokens, which are great. He isn't. It is. He's open he production open as well. Open production, right? yes. I was just about to say. So you can send a worker and get a get a, a wild production token if you want, or contact token rather. Nice. I might. I might be doing that. We'll see here. Um, but first, I'm going to spend my last two gray production tokens to build radioactive fuel. Okay. Radioactive fuel is great. Uh, okay, so I've already gotten that, so I don't necessarily have to keep that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one brick to upgrade or develop or whatever it's called my arena into a mesmerizer's dwelling. Which mm. will give me a point. Is that Mesmerizer's Dwelling a feature? It is a feature. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't want you getting all those points from that Mesmerizer's Dwelling. It will give me one point. <laughs> well, two because I upgraded it, which gave me a point. Yeah. It gives yeah. me a point every time I raise. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't want you getting those mm -hmm. points. Mm-hmm. So I may have to raise it. You, what's the what's the raise uh, bonus the for The raise it? bonus what is spoils? pretty good. It's two points and a card. Man, I'm going to spend a gun for two raise tokens. All right. I am going to spend a multicolored token and a red token to raise the brick supplier. which will give me a point, and then I get three breaks. And that is the last point you will get from that Mesmerizer's <laughs> whatever it is, because I'm raising it, All right. and in the, I will get two points. And a card. And a card. In the, in the deal field, there is a point, so I'll gain one more point from that card. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, come it. That's the last point you'll gain that from that true. card. That is true. Well, I might upgrade it. <laughs> All right, Board Game Grand. Thanks so much for hanging out. It was good to talk to you for a bit. I need to go. I need to watch your yeah, uh, good to see you. Llama Thoughts video. Llama Thoughts? There's that, you know that card game from Amigo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have time to watch videos, so mm -hmm. I don't watch anything at all. I just stream, and then that's I it. I have stuff on in the background while I work, uh, you know, <laughs> just kind of. See, I don't have the type of job where I can do that. I'm usually on the phone with other people, so I can't really watch stuff while I'm doing yeah. that. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to spend a worker and um, two fuel to get three points. Okay. One of the fuel from my methane storage. All righty. 
I am going to um, I'm going to spend a brick to upgrade the old ye old uh, ruin into the negotiator. All right. I'm going to spend a worker and a bullet and a gun as two guns to get three more points. Ready? One, two, three. All right. What else can I do here? Spend a thing and a thing. That's not bad. Um, I'll spend my two guns to, well, you know what? What can I do? I can... Uh, uh, huh, huh. Let me see. Okay, I'll spend my one... Um, actually, sorry. I'll spend my two guns to get a ruin and a red token. All right. I'm going to go ahead and send your worker your way to Shirash to get a multicolored token. Woohoo! Get a worker. Yeah, he's burning it to the ground. That's true, man. <laughs> <laughs> my his big big point building <laughs> all right his one one point uh per raise building that he built in the last round of the game probably or next to last <laughs> round of the game all right i'm spending a worker and a brick to gain two points all right Hopefully next to the right. This might be the last round. Paul might do it this time. We'll see. I'm going to spend my last multicolored connection token to build the ganger's dive and get a uh, raise token. All right. I am going to spend... Uh, one brick... To upgrade my clay pit into a, a brick storage, so the clay pit goes away, I get a point, and then um, brick storage comes down. Brick storage has three bricks put on it whenever I build it. Yep, he's gonna do it, fellas. He's gonna trigger the game, and I'm not gonna be able to put my big point engine into action here. I actually might have caught you if we had one more round, but I don't think we're going to have another round. I will so. trigger it this round. I if I... Yep. There's nothing I can do to stop you because I'm passing. You're passing. Okay. Yep. All right. Last thing I was going to do, um, I was going to upgrade my spin a brick to upgrade my heavy, or sorry, huge machinery into a uh, shipwreck, which will give me my point to trigger it. And then... Um, I was going to spend two workers. Yeah. To brick building was a great to draw. Activate this whatever uh, to discard my deals and gain some more points. Three, four. All right, that's pretty much all I can do. No, oh, oh, is that all? That's all I can do. Only pulled ten points ahead of me. That's all I can do. <laughs> We're gonna we tally it. These ruins uh. count for nothing. Yeah, I had a that was a terrible game. That was that was terrible. This one shouldn't even count. It what I mean, okay, so let's score let's score buildings cuz I think you have more buildings than me. 1 2 three, No, I don't four, think I five, do. 6 7 8 9. It's the exact same oh. amount. Well. So I have 30. Yeah. I mean, it was a pretty low scoring game though in general. Uh so you got 25 exactly. Um No, I got 27. 27? Okay, my bad. Cuz if you yep. Because yep. normally we're, I think we're kind of up in the mid forties ish. In the, yeah, mid forties, close to fifty is yeah. is where we've been. So this was kind of a, um, and it still took us four rounds. In my experience, it takes about it did. four rounds, it, almost always in this game. Yeah, which is yep, interesting. it does. It is interesting about, but about every time we play, it's it's taken, it's taken four rounds. Uh, all right, let me find fifty first state. Oh, yeah, log it. Log I gotta it log up. it. Um, Let's see here. So for all of you in chat, we we are nerds and we log our plays. Uh, sorry, we're geeks, not nerds. We're board game geeks. That's right. That's right. We're board game geeks, and we log our plays of yeah, our games. Absolutely. 
Uh, also, if anybody, um, <clears throat> I say this like I'm going to have time to actually do this, but this game is on, is this one on Tabletopia? This game is on Tabletopia as well, I believe. We should play some online 51st State at some point. If y'all have a Tabletopia account, reach out to us and maybe we can set up a game because I, I, I really enjoy yeah. this game. It's a lot of fun. It's a good game. It is good. Um, it is a lot of fun. And... For some reason, I feel like I uh, I feel like I, I logged this last time we played, and and yet I had to add this into my library. I don't know why. That's weird. Did you log it under like that the old fifty first state and not the master set? Nope, because fifty first pulled up nothing in my oh. in my <laughs> search. Weird. And so the first the first log of this game is going to be a twenty seven to thirty eight point no game. No way, man. We've played this game. <laughs> I know we played it four or five times times now. So you, we had. I'll tell you the history. Hold on, because I love stats. This is fan. This is just fantastic streaming content right here. Um, Yeah, it is riveting. (laughs) Riveting. (laughs) Got. Uh, yeah. We had today. The last time it was forty-one. Oh, that was with Lacey. Good grief! When was the last time we played this? Uh, with David. Bill Kennedy logs games with others and with physical solo. I log solo games as well. I stopped. I had to stop logging Gonshan Clever. Yeah. Uh, because I played it too many times. I log the app plays as well because I'm a maniac. So I have like 40-something plays yeah. of Imperial Settlers rolling right. And <laughs> Imperial Settlers rolling right I have I have in the yeah. 40s. But Gonshan Clever I have in yeah. the 100s. So I was that way with Dub Hilt <laughs> So Clever, that app. I played that one so many times. Yeah, the app I played uh, Gonjo Clever a lot so of times. So on the sixteenth of September, no app solo. You, you beat yeah, me. Makes sense. 44, 43. and then September third was our highest scoring one. That was fifty six to forty. <laughs> our highest scoring one being your highest it scoring was one. A high scoring game. <laughs> I don't know who I was playing with, but I should play them again sometime. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got a ton of Neuroshima logs because I also I also log the app whenever I play Neuroshima Hex. So anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was the game, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out uh, with us this time. We have been streaming for an hour and 12 minutes. So we got that would, this, we've gotten this yeah. game pretty quick. We've gotten down to a pretty quick game. Even with explanation and stuff like that, we play it in about an hour. Yeah. So it's... Uh, and and I would say that if we were just playing this game, just you and me, we would probably play this game in 45 minutes. I would, Absolutely. I would think. I also think if we were at the same table, it would go a lot quicker. Yeah. We, we have, yeah. we have a bit of weirdness cause we're playing virtually and everything, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully I read a new story today that the uh, vaccine may be slower going out to uh, younger middle-aged people. So maybe <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hey, thanks Matt. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks so much. Thanks Ruben. Everybody. Yeah, for everybody. Uh, and we really appreciate it. Also, uh, if you want to check out 51st State, um, you can uh, you could definitely go check it out at portalgamesus.com. You can buy the game there. Uh, you could buy some cool gear like these cool play mats there. Um, so it's definitely a great uh, it's a great game to pick up. It's it's a good game to add to your collection. Good game to have. It's a lot They're of fun. They're on sale right now, aren't they? Uh, I think so. Really- uh, I have the power to check it. <laughs> I have the ability. There, I have the. I think ability. they're like twelve fifty or something, unless my. Oh, the playmats! Yeah, they're half oh off. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Such a good price for these playmats. They are so it's nice. Great. Super off. Awesome. They are premium. Premium, and they make the game. They just keep everything organized. It's just really, really nice. Really nice to play with them. Makes everything more yeah. fun. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. Uh, we will be streaming again in two weeks. Eric will be streaming yep. next week. Uh, we have Spiel Digital coming up pretty soon. Um, yes. And I, we are doing something for Spiel Digital. I think the details are still being hammered out on what exactly, who is going to be streaming and when and what's going to be going on. But we're trying to think up some fun stuff for everybody. Um, so hopefully you all enjoy that. Um, Ruby, I put the score up for you. Um, I didn't want to interrupt David, but... Um, Thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. And then we will be back, like I said, in two weeks. Come check out. I think Ignazi's going to do a, uh, a casual stream on Sundays like he normally does. And then Eric will be back on Monday. So, Yep. 
And uh, yeah, Ruben says promos. You can get promos on the website sometimes. It depends. Sometimes they're there. Sometimes they're not. It just depends. You just kind of have to check. I never really know when they're going to be in stock and when they're not going to be in stock. But I'm keeping my eye out now for the 51st State promos because we've been playing it so much that I really want them. And now I can't get them. Promo. And it's driving me crazy. This was on the, BG, the Mississippi <laughs> I know. faction and the university faction are promos. Um yeah. They they play yeah. a little bit differently, but it's just cool to have them. Uh, the Texas and Hegemony, I think, is pronounced that way. Um, factions are out of stock, and I do not have those. That's the last thing I need to collect for Fifty First State until, of course, the Moloch expansion comes out, which I can't wait for. Yeah, that'll be that should it's be so awesome. Much fun. It's going to be a blast. All right. Well, thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. We're going to go ahead and log off, um, but we will hope to see you soon. <laughs>